Okay, I don't speak too soon. <laughs> I cannot do. I don't follow your Confidence programmer. is key. Confidence is key. <laughs> yes, 10 minutes twice a day. Yeah, with thanks uh, program. What has sports got to do with personal finance? Hi everyone, I'm Benjamin, the founding editor of Money Play School. Today, we are very glad to have Jeremy Tang, a sports enthusiast and a financial practitioner, to join us in this session. Hi, Jeremy, say a few words, introduce yourself. Hi, hi guys, uh, my name is Jeremy. Uh, the closer ones call me Tang, okay? So if, I mean, if, ever, if ever we get to interact with each other, please. Uh, be comfortable. Uh, I'm with AIA Financial Advisors. I've uh, been here for about four years since I graduated from NTU. Uh, and I'm a very big fan of sports. I'm a football coach. I play football as well. Uh, I try to work out as much as I can uh, to stay healthy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and here, here, here we are. Okay, cool. Tang. So I should call you Tang right yeah, now. Right. Right. Alright, Tang. So AIA has launched this AIA 1 billion, right? With the mission to get 1 billion people to be active and live healthier, longer, better lives. Yeah, by 2030, I hope I got that correct. <laughs> yeah, so you're very aligned with that, right? Um, yeah. Can you tell us why and a bit of your background and why are you so yeah. into sports? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, growing up, I used to be a very a very fat kid. Uh, not, not that I'm in the best shape, like, right? But I used to be a very fat kid. I used to get bullied and all that. Uh, but I think uh, one of the silver linings I had when I was a lot younger was that I got involved in track and field. So I was, I was a national discus thrower uh, back in my time when I was in St. Stephen's. And then obviously that, you know, brought me into a, a good school in, in Victoria. So I'm an I'm a OVS boy. Wow. Um, yeah, and then I think in, in that also I found passion for football. I've been playing all the while also. Uh, and because of that, that has brought me through different stages in life. Uh, overcoming weight loss, um, uh, getting more self-esteem, like, I think confidence growing up. Um, and because that has taught me great many lessons, I think I've, I've been able to translate that. Uh, into many other aspects of my life in academia, in the way I conduct myself, in the way I interact, in the way I, I think uh, mm. and, and the mindsets that I have. Yeah. Well, really the, the, the power of sports, right? Yeah. Is that why you are so passionate about coaching kids as well, to impart this knowledge? Yeah, I, I guess I guess I guess you could say that also. So I studied sports science uh, in my four years in, in NTU. So because I studied sports science and coaching seemed uh, relevant. Uh, I found I found passion in that also. Uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So because he has sport science, uh, not because he doesn't know anything. <laughs> the friends come, come, come. come, come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I, I think that was your first taste of coaching yeah. and why you fell in love. So, Jeremy, I also understand that because of your passion for sports, right? And of course, AIA one billion. Uh, um, you also do a lot of such things for your 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 clients when yeah. it comes to like getting them fit and all these personal training exercises yeah. and all that. Yeah. Um, can you share with me a bit more about that and what you do for clients? Sure. Uh, so. I've always, I've, I've always had this idea whereby uh, I wanted to work out not just by myself but to spread the things that I've learned uh, over the many years yeah? because I've always been involved in sport. Uh, and so the idea I had was to, to launch a, a, a simple uh, workout program for my friends and for my peers. Uh, initially when I first started out, I was always a bit more thrifty when it came to uh, gym memberships and, and all that. Uh, and so I started to look for alternative sources of how to to work out maybe in the comforts of your home or somewhere that's that's a bit more that's easier like, for people to, to gather yeah so uh, it was those it was backpacks it was you know placing old books carrying some weight resistance and uh, I said actually why don't why don't I start something like, like like a movement you know just not just for myself but for the people around me uh, so we started this at the end of uh, of uh, November 2019 I remember yeah it was just my boss uh, and like two friends that stayed nearby they, they came along to a bar outside my house and then uh, I was like, you know, what, what, what should I call it? I said, okay, let's let's do hustle for muscle because, you know, it's uh, it's always a bit, it's uh, it's always a bit tough to work on your own, uh, and then obviously it started to grow because it became more structured, it was more organized. I started really looking for more videos to get more inspiration, putting in my workouts, and then my friends started to call other people to come down. So I was like, wow, you really turned out to be a blessing, these guys, and uh, uh, and I think from from there. Unfortunately for COVID, but even before in the time the community grew, people knew about it. People started, yeah, you know, people I didn't know was asking me about 
uh, whether they could come for the classes. Even class pass reached out to me uh, wow. during yeah during the COVID period. So yeah, so it was it was uh, turned out to be a success. Oh wow, yeah. wow amazing! I also don't like to pay for a gym membership, <laughs> but how come I don't look like you? <laughs> <laughs> you can come anytime. Oh, oh I hold you to your word. Yeah, I must come for the exercises and and yeah. all. Yeah, I think uh, since we have you here and expert, and and I find that even for myself and for a lot of you, right? Um, I mean. You are working in front of a computer for long days, long hours every day and you get all these aches and all. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can share with us some exercises that yeah. we can do at, yeah. at home if you are working yeah. from home still or at office um, to, to solve some of these issues. Sure, uh, I think there are some uh, simple exercises that you can do from the council of your home. Uh, particularly for one that I always enjoy doing the push-up, I think it gets uh, it gets uh, blood pumping, you know, you, you, you sit crouched with your shoulders all day long. So yeah, because you're always typing, right? You're always <laughs> leaning in towards the screen. So something that can help with upper back movement, some simple stretches. Uh, I particularly like doing the wall sits also. So I'll just sit uh, 90 degrees against the wall, get uh, some isometric action going in my legs. And once I feel a bit more recharged, I'm ready to hit back the screen. All right, and you'll be more alert as well. Get your blood flowing exactly. and all. Yeah, so follow the exercises. You can do it anytime. <laughs> So, so push-up is a, is, a, is a normal push-up. I usually like to do somewhere between four to six sets. Uh, the, the more common mistake that people have is that they always put a bit too high and then they always crouch their shoulders. What you want to do is to draw your shoulders back, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, shoulder width apart. Yeah. Make sure it's down. Yeah. Okay. Down. down. And up. Very nice. Okay. Down. And up. Last one. Down. Very good. Wow, see, not bad, guys. Very easy. Yes. And what you want to do is to just lean against the wall, right, with your 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 knee joint at a ninety degree angle, right. Your your knee shouldn't be above your toes. Just lean against the wall, and then hold for forty five seconds. Yeah, you should start to feel the strain at about thirty seconds. You got to hold it for another fifty. Is this the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You say hold, feel the strain at thirty seconds. Uh. You start start to feel the strain. I think after three seconds, seconds, I started to feel it. <laughs> So any um, any interesting stories or interesting transformation from your clients who came in? Yeah, so I had I had uh, this client. He was uh, he was a bit overweight. He was my classmate when we were back in our time in Victoria School. Uh, so he was asking me like, oh, you know what? I find it so hard to because he's a lawyer. He finds it very difficult to to find time to work out. And I've, I've always said uh, you always you can't you can't eat the elephant hole in the room, right? You gotta break it on small parts. So I say, why don't why don't I work something out for you ten minutes a day, twice a day. Right, so 10 minutes when you wake up, 10 minutes maybe somewhere in the evening when you get home. Um, cut out certain things from the diet, sugar, dream on. You know, start, start, start your meal with like a glass of water. Simple things, right? You don't have to count calories and all that. And then you started to, to see some results after three or four weeks. I was like, I felt so encouraged, you know, because these were the things I went through when I started to want to lose weight for myself, yeah, to, to have a bit more confidence and, and just to look a bit better for my kids. Yeah. So in the end, he lost, I think he lost a good 14 kg in uh, 10 weeks. Was it 10 weeks? 10, 11 weeks, yeah. Which was, yeah, it was really crazy. Wow, yeah. 14 kg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I must do so. And 10 minutes twice a day, it sounds a day. very reasonable. Yeah. Right? I mean, if you can't do it 10 minutes before and after. Okay, I don't speak too soon. <laughs> I cannot do, I don't follow your program. Confidence program's. is key, confidence is key. Oh, confidence. Yes, 10 minutes twice a day. Yeah, with thanks um, program, I, I'm, I'm sure I will look even fitter the next time you see me on screen. Yeah. yeah, okay. So 10 minutes a day and also nutrition plays of course, a, a big of part. Course, of yes. course, of course. Okay. So Tang, as a financial advisor, you don't get paid, right? When you do all this for your yeah. clients, for your friends. Yeah. So maybe can you share with us why are you doing all this and what's the rationale behind all yeah. of it? Yeah. Sure. Uh, I think uh, when I was already in school, I was already helping my friends with uh, certain queries that they had. You know, they would say, oh, this guy studies sports science, you know. So they would say, oh, you know, is my posture correct? Uh, uh, is my form okay? Am I, am I eating the right foods? And I, I try to encourage and to advise accordingly uh, to the best of my abilities. And obviously coming back uh, into, into, into this business, uh, it, was, it was a very natural thing, right? It was a very natural progression because I've really been helping them and, and uh, helping my, my friends, my peers manage uh, their monies as well uh, and, and how to do financial planning as a whole for themselves and family uh, it was yeah it was it was second nature I mean having said that it's, it's never just about financial health uh, it's always uh, having an overall good well-being in fitness you, you know we believe in a home concept mental well-being and, and all that uh, in, in addition to the point when I came here because I met so many profiles I even realized that some people couldn't purchase because they don't have a clean bill of health Right, uh, 
obesity, uh, maybe even uh, overweight, some other health conditions, diabetics uh, and all that. So I, I felt that, you know, if, if I could be that person to spark positive change, if, if fitness was one of the ways that I could uh, inspire somebody to, to get off to, to a better life, better habits, better nutrition, then I felt that uh, that was my part to play in their lives. And, and that's how I see uh, parallel in sports and finance. Oh, wow, thank you. I think um, amazing. And I think there was a very important point that Tan mentioned that I would like to pick, pick up. Um, a lot of times for, for us consumers and all, we think, oh, insurance or financial products, anytime I want to buy, can buy. Yeah, but through your experience and your what you have observed, there are some people who, it, when they want to do it, they can't. Right, because of health and all that. Yeah. So it's great that you're doing all this. Um, and definitely it's beyond just money and financial health, right? I mean, that's just one aspect of our life. I think the total wellness um, and the total uh, person concept is key. Yeah, so just now you mentioned about it, uh, maybe sports and, and, and finance and personal finance has some interlinks or parallels. Yeah. Um, could you share with me a bit more about that? Or what, what do you see or why do you see similarities between the two? Yeah, what, what I draw the most parallel forms of lines between the two is uh, the discipline of sport and I think the conduct of being a, a financial advisor. Um, I think that you can't, you can't buy a, a single policy and expect it to solve many different problems for you. They can solve one of many. Uh, and the same thing goes for sports. You, you can't expect to work out 9 hours in a single day and to lose 9 kg but it's maybe 20 minutes a day over nine weeks that you start to see and slowly see the differences that become more and more stuck over a period of time. Um, and because of, 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 do, of that thinking of determination, of patience and, and, uh, and a very structured program to see these things fall into place, I felt really helped me in the way that I conducted myself. Uh, I think above and beyond that also, uh, coaching sport as a whole, not just kids, but of course my friends and my peers, helps me to understand how to manage people a bit differently. Uh, I have kids who are a bit more playful, a bit more difficult. Uh, you can see that the, 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 some of the guys I manage also within the team, uh, uh, some are playful, some, some have uh, challenges that they face along the way. Uh, and that helped me to think that not one single stroke applies for every folk. I think there are many different ways that I, I, I manage the associates as, as well uh, in terms of their drive, in terms of their goals, in terms of the path that they, that they wish to strive for uh, and, and that helps me better myself as a coach as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's really about the mindset as well, right, sometimes yes. and the, the, the personality of the, the person yeah. and um, in, in terms of driving all these changes. Yeah. Yes. So it, it seems to me that you've really found a sweet spot in terms of pursuing your passion still in yeah. sports and yeah. um, helping your clients and as well as a career, you know, as a, a financial advisor. Yeah. yeah. So for people who are out there looking for their dream career or trying to see, hey, I don't know whether I can pursue my passion and all that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, what's your advice to, to them? Um, I think the biggest piece of advice I, I would give to someone who, who, who comes from any age uh, is, is this idea of clarity. I think when I was a lot, uh, not a lot, like when I was younger during my tertiary, very young, okay. <laughs> during, during my tertiary <laughs> education, I was, I was trying to find you know which uh, which job uh, satisfied the craving for for sport and then i was always, i was i was also looking for a career that could could pay me well and i think that i was chasing all these things the wrong way i think the biggest thing that most people want to know before they embark on a career are answers because answers always bring clarity and when the path is clear you know exactly what are the steps to take to get to where you need to be so don't chase uh, the superficial things, chase for clarity and chase for answers. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. So answers bring clarity. Yes. Yeah, so don't just chase all this superficial thing or the short-term thing, right? Yeah. Like salary, money, I think. Correct. Uh, important, important, yeah. but not the only criteria. Of course, of course. Yeah, so I think the clarity in terms of the long-term vision and um, what you're passionate about, I think that will really help. All right, cool. So Jeremy, um, or Tang, right? Um, yes. Say call Tang, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> call him. Calling Jeremy, yeah. So Tang, um, yeah. So for people who are interested, right? Hey, yeah. uh, maybe I want to get fitter. So about ten minutes twice a day and all that, yeah. and find out more about the program. Find out more yeah. about your your yeah. training sessions. Yeah. Um, what can they do? What should they do? Uh, I I posted some uh, videos uh, about some of the workouts that I have. Uh, feel free to check it out. I think the 
The Instagram handle will be in the description below. <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> below over there. Yeah, some simple 20 minute workouts, 25 minute workouts, things you can do at home, simple equipment, things you can buy for $3 and under. Uh, I think that's a simple demonstration. Obviously, we want to get more involved and, and to come up with a more structured curriculum of, of how to continue workout. You can always reach out to me. Uh, you can connect me on Facebook. You can take my number. Uh, yeah, just drop me a DM. I'll be I'll be more than happy to, to share with you my passion. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Maybe you'll see me there as well in the session. <laughs> <laughs> because I also uh, want to be as fit as him. Yeah. And that's all the time we have. Tang, thank you so much for being with us. And we we'll love to have you back with us on another session perhaps. Alright, thank you. See you soon. Bye.